Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Donruss Elite Football. Brand new release. Just came out yesterday. This is Pick Your Team number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. There it is on a Thursday. 12 box, Pick Your Team four. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Appreciate it. Andrew with that last spot mojo star next to his name. He got the Niners. Thank you. Let's pop this guy open and let's see see what we have. Good luck, everybody. And there will be a, a hit recap video for those of you watching the replay. There will be a hit recap video. So you can look for in a separate video. So you should be able to look out for that. For those of you watching live, you're just stuck with me for like the next hour and 15 or, or so. All right, so there's all the boxes right there. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. All right, good luck, everybody. Two autographs and one memorabilia card per box on average. A ton of parallels in this, too. We'll be breezing by a lot of the numbered cards, unless it's like out of 25 or out of 10 or something like that. So we'll be breezing through those, but we'll have those sleeved and top loaded. Um, top loaded by the uh, by our shipping team. This is already going to take long enough, so we want to try to speed through it as much as possible. Good luck, everybody. We've seen, I feel like we've seen a, a lot of the big names. I think we saw a Kyler Murray in the first case. We have not seen a Dwayne Haskins yet. Who haven't we seen yet? I don't think we've seen a Dwayne Haskins. Have we seen a Drew Locke? We've seen a Daniel Jones. We... I don't think we've seen a Nick Bosa, right? Hi, Miller. What did Nina... Nina is not in this break, I think. This is Pick Your Team 4 Elite Football. What break was it, Miller? Nationals with another home run. Looks, looks like I'm not winning my Marlins play. Good luck, everybody. And our first autograph is going to be Turn of the Century Auto, Gary Jennings Jr., 19 out of 199. Seahawks, Ron Hollins, with the first auto of this elite break. Think we can make a Mayfield by the end of this break? Probably not, but let's find out. You told you done nice. There's DK Metcalf. The pen pal autographs are on card, Ron Hollins. He's heating up. 
Mark Masson told a uh, daughter about we sent we sent Mark Masson's kid between the age of seven and thirteen, kid reporter, cards. So you can just have her. Uh, no worries, Ron. You can just have her uh, plug in those numbers. Maybe get into get into the contest. If you go, if you win, Mark, it's a Super Bowl for you. We'll send you. We'll maybe send you some Jaspi swag to to put on the on the on the press cameras. But yeah, good luck. I in fact, I I actually before I left work last night, I put a put a small stack. And like a one of those like leaf slider boxes from that leaf ultimate breaks. So it packed them up in there, wrote a little note. So it should be on its way. I know Panini will see and they'd be like, oh come on. J Jaspie's infiltrated this. <laughs> Jaspie's infiltrating uh <laughs> the kid reporters. It's like we're everywhere, Panini. And there's Matt Ryan. So two autos, two Seahawks autos, and a Falcons craftsman relic. Bird box. Two Seahawks and a Falcon. Bird box. Ryan with the Falcons. So some good bird team mojo here. It's not, it's not quite the blank pile, not quite, not quite solid yet. All right, next box. Good luck. I know if we if we see Rex here, Mark Madsen, I think he might have missed my question last night, but we'll see if he could tell, give us a, a hint on what the process was. He tried it last. I sent him a stack of those too. Box two. I like that this is uh, the shipping team also loves that all of these guys are all in their pro uniforms now. It makes makes sorting and shipping miles easier. Is that a home run or is that off the? Someone on the Rockies just hit one off of Walker Bueller very, very deep. Gold standard football is gonna be nice as Rich Schmidt. When's that coming out? Is there is there a date for that? I'm very happy that Kyler Murray has a really nice looking autograph. So hopefully he he can perform well. Looks like looks like Ken Garlic twisted his wrist, bent his wrist back, going chasing after that double. It turns out to be. Oh, first off last tomorrow. So then the release date can't be too far behind. Oh, and we'll do a randomizer between these five positions right here. Right, and then whatever, if it lands on this position right here, all the cards, all the teams in that spot will get those. Set that right over here. There's Jarvis Landry, Pro Bowl Relic. For the Browns, out of 199, that'll go to Glenn Campbell and the Browns.
Thanks, Ryan. Yeah. All those all all those years at, at handwriting university has paid off. And Nikhil Harry, turn of the century autograph, 50 out of 99 for Karen and her Patriots. And Pen Pals autograph, Ryan Finley. Black ink autograph. There's, I think there's black, green, blue. I think red might be one of one, something like that. I think it's those. They're listed somewhere. Bengals. Cat team. Ellie with the Bengals. There you go, Ellie. Box. Um, win total time. Uh, that's what I was looking for. I'm, I'm, going, I'm on our oddsshark.com, and I don't know when these uh, win totals were set. They may be fluid. They may be changing. I guess they posted this on or updated this on tu Tuesday, so this is pretty recent. Yeah, we're going to try to have to find some uh, Christian McCaffrey's for Steve Olson. Richard Lube, who's in the house. Need some Lions mojo. No Lions as of yet, but maybe a TJ Hawkinson. Um, let's start alphabetically. Arizona Cardinals, they won three games last year, and their win total is set by Vegas. I don't know what book, but by Vegas at five wins in 2019. Over or under five, Arizona Cardinals, Kyler Murray, Andy Isabella, David Johnson, Larry Fitzgerald. New coaching. New coaching staff. What do you think? Thanks, Rex. I was just saying I was just saying that that Rex ignored my question yesterday. He became too too high roller to answer my question last night. Unbelievable. Ron Holland says over. Johnny says over. Really? And Kyler, Kyler Murray and the Cardinals win six games, six seven games. I feel like five is actually spot on. I would wait until that moves up or down a half before. I would make a decision, but yeah, Jeremy says push. That line seems just a little, a little too on the nose. If it was four and a half, I would go over. If it was five and a half, I would go under. I think that's what I would do. Uh, 
Oh, I was asking you about the kid reporter process. Because um, I sent you a stack again, and I, I sent Mark Matson a stack, and I was just like, maybe Rex, if he's still listening, can illuminate us on the process or the initial process of going through all of that. If any, if there was any process at all, I don't, I don't remember how far you, you went in the process. We've got a Jarrett Stidham pen pals on card autograph. That's another one for Karen and her Patriots. <laughs> Richard L knows one thing though. Week one L. Arizona plays Detroit. That's out of 10. Nice. 5 out of 10. Miles Gaskin. What about the Atlanta Falcons? They won 7 games last year. Vegas has them set at 9 wins this year. Right on the nose, 9. Falcons kind of a down season last year. Maybe some, I think some key injuries really on the defense and stuff kind of rattled their team. But, you know, Matt Ryan's out there. You still have Julio Jones. They got Calvin Ridley with a year of experience under his belt. Maybe a, a healthy running game. There's Brady. Or just Stidham, that is. Future Brady. Johnny says under. Jeremy says over. Out of 49, craftsman relic for the Saints, Rashad. Oh, okay, so you just put in the codes one by one. That's a pain. Well, you had, you're had. supposed to have the kid do it. They're not working. Uh, then, they, then they just wait until... 10 are randomly picked, then the 10 kids that are picked then make video, and then make videos to audition, and then they, one gets picked. Okay, gotcha. All right, well, good luck again this year, Rex. Uh, for the Falcons, Johnny says under. Jeremy says over. Maybe, maybe Carolina gets a little worse, Jeremy's thinking, so they, NFC South beats up on each other a little bit. And that's 60 out of 75, Impact Impressions, Tony Siragusa. Nice one for Christopher Freeze and the Ravens. It has to be a two-minute video. All right, that works. All right. Oh, no worries, Rex. Good luck, man. Try to get some free publicity out of that. If you guys, I'm rooting for you, rooting for you and uh, and Mark. All right, uh, Baltimore Ravens in a non-Joe Flacco Baltimore Ravens. Last year they won ten games. This year Vegas has them at eight wins. Baltimore Ravens. Over under eight this year. Lamar Jackson will be will ostensibly be starting all the, all the games. So you got him. They've added some offense. They've added a wide receiver. They've added some offensive pieces. You know they've got a million tight ends, outlet guys, I guess for uh, for Lamar Jackson could be a new new offense. Johnny thinks. Eight is about right. He says push. Yeah, I think a year or two ago, Rex, some kid at the, the, who gets to ask that one question as a kid reporter asked, him, asked Brady some sort of question about, like, who is your father as an inspirational figure, something like that. I forget what it was, but like, made Brady choke up a little bit. There's videos of that, I think. Cooper looking for that Kyler Murray. Mark Matheson says under on the Ravens. 
What about the Buffalo Bills? Buffalo! Last year, six wins. This year, win total, seven. Vegas has them at seven. Over, under, seven for the Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen. Looks pretty good to end, end the season. I don't know what other weapons they have, though. <laughs> you still have Lash is Sean McCoy still on that team? All right, we got to get a... Uh... I don't know. They, they, meet, they need some offensive help. Johnny says that number sounds spot on. Seven. Over Buffalo eight and eight. Interesting. That AFC East is going to be interesting, real interesting. What about the uh, Carolina Panthers? Seven wins last year. Vegas has them at seven and a half. Seven and a half wins over or under seven and a half for the Carolina Panthers. Cam Newton coming off a uh, shoulder injury, I think. There's turn of the century autograph. J.J. Arcega, white side to 99. Eagles. Darji with the Eagles. Gianni says over on the Panthers at 7.5. Johnny agrees on the over. Steve Olson unbiasedly saying 16 and 0 for the Panthers. They gotta have Cam Newton health. Whoa! How about this? Scott Cooper. How about Kyler Murray and Andy Isabella? His new target. Dual pen pal autograph, both right on the card. That is nice. Blue ink autograph too. There you go, Scott. Jason McKee also says Caroline's winning the division over as heck, he says. Uh, not to my knowledge, Kenson. Maybe. I don't know. I don't make that decision, though. That's a Nick Jaspi decision. Rex thinks Cam Newton should make his own camera company. At least be sponsored by a camera company, right? Yeah, I've heard, I've heard good things about Isabella, too, Mark Madison. I can... Murray to Isabella. Touchdown! That, that could be that could be the call for years. Murray drops back to pass. Isabella's wide open. There's Matt Ryan. Ryan with Ryan. <laughs> You're on something, Rex. Cameras and Fig Newtons for Cam Newton? Yeah, stop doing those, like, Greek yogurt commercials, Cam. You know, you work with cameras and, and, and Fig Newtons. That's just... It's just obvious. Oh, Rockies. I didn't actually didn't notice. I have the game on. Johnny, I didn't notice the Rocky scoring for Lux Runs. All right, next box. We're getting there, folks. We're chugging along. Got a little time to go. A lot of time to go, actually. Actually, it might be a little bit earlier than that. It might be slightly ahead of schedule, but just to be safe, if you look at the schedule, schedule's in the chat right there. Um, Bears fans, what do you guys think? Your Bears, 12 wins last year under Mitchell Trubisky at all. And, uh, 
and a you know solid defense, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Vegas has the Chicago Bears at nine and a half wins. Chicago Bears nine and a half over or under. NFC North, right? Tough division. Packers have got to be better, right? The Bears are good too. Vikings are Vikings will still play tough. Johnny says over for sure. I think I would lean over as well. Yeah, I know, Ryan. You've, you've said the exact same thing a million times. I get it. You don't have to say it again. I see. I say over. Yeah, I, I, I think I think 10 or 11 games. I could see that. I think they're pretty good. I think they're motivated. They're still hungry from, from the double doink last year. You know, Mitch, Mitchell Trubisky seems to be pretty solid. I think they added a receiver, right? They, so they're maybe the Kevin White replacement. Um, who I think is good. He's just too, just too many injuries for Kevin White, but they've they've got some uh, they got some of that. You know, so I, I've got a solid defense. I think they could do it. Bengals won six games last year. Vegas has them at six this year. That sounds about right. Maybe even under. New coach, though, right, for the Bengals? Speaking of the Bears, there's Cleo Mack. And we got a Pro Bowl relic, Doug Baldwin, to 199. What about the Browns? Cleveland Browns won seven games last year. Could have won more if they started uh, Baker a little bit earlier. Vegas has them at nine. Cleveland Browns over under nine wins. Behind that guy. Ron Holland says... Browns 12 and 4. Over, says Johnny. Over, says Mark Matheson. It's got to be over, right? AFC, no A AFC North, right? The Steelers really only represent the biggest challenge for the AFC North. You know, and I think they're going to kind of. Shoot. Man, that's one of my first misses. Um, whoa! More Cardinals for Scott Cooper. Hakeem Butler. Nice. Wait, what, what did we all say about the Ravens? How many wins for the Ravens? Eight and eight, I think we were saying. I think like the, that number was about right for the Ravens. All right, so the Ravens maybe not present, representing a threat just yet. Right? You know, you got you got a great defense with the Browns. You know, Baker's got a year of experience under his belt. They're going to have to make some adjustments, you know. I mean, Baker's not going to catch anyone by surprise this year. But I think they've got a good offensive line. Odell Beckham Jr. is on that team. They, yeah, they got they got the receivers. I like David Onyoku. They got a running game. And they got a solid defense. I mean, I... I I mean, all facets of the game are... T I mean, do they have good special team? Maybe they, Maybe... Kicking might be their a weak a weak point, but that could be solved pretty quickly. Oh, Johnny's going so far as to say he doesn't think Steelers would be much of a threat this year. Browns win the division. Yeah, maybe maybe Steelers take a, a step backwards this year. Nice Philip Lindsay, twenty three out of ninety nine. That's a good one for Nick Leslie and the Broncos. Little Oppo Joe Mojo. 
Oh, there's a chip in that top loader right there. We don't want that. Yeah, maybe the Steelers take a step back this year. Maybe they're just trying to re trying to figure out life without Antonio Brown. Maybe re readjusting some things. Small step back. Browns are going to be an exciting team. What about the uh, Dallas Cowboys? Where are the Cowboys fans at? They won 10 games last year. I don't know how they won 10 games last year. Somehow they won 10 games last year in spite of Jason Garrett. I like the team. I just don't like the coach. Um, before Cowboys fans start to come out of the woodwork and jump down my throat. Um, it's Jason Garrett that I'm not a fan of. I think they won 10 games in spite of Jason Garrett last year. Um, Vegas has the win total at 8.5. That feels low. I think, they'll win, I think they'll win like 9 or 10 games this year. Johnny also says over. Steve Olsen says 0 and 16. Richard Lupin says I hate the Garrett and 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 uh, Jones bromance. Well, Jason Garrett might not be a bromance that much longer, Richard L, because Garrett wasn't offered an extension. He's going into the last year of his contract without an extension, so it's time for Jason Garrett to prove it. Um, Jared. Well, let, let's. You want to skip down to the Colts? Well, let's do. Let's do the other teams really quick first. Denver Broncos won six last year, seven this year. We got Joe Flacco now. Hmm. Be interesting. I think the Broncos win about seven or eight games. What about the Lions, Richard? Detroit Lions. Lions won six last year. Vegas has them set at seven. Yeah, I think maybe may a game over for the Broncos. I can see the Lions winning about seven or eight games. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes left. Richard says over all day long. There's, speaking of the Steelers, 15 out of 57, TJ Watt. That's for Michael Gallucci and his Steelers. Super Bowl bounce, it's Richard L. for the Lions. TJ Hawkinson, rookie of the, offensive rookie of the year, if that happens. Green Bay Packers, six wins last year. Win total at nine and a half this year. Over under nine and a half for the Green Bay Packers. It all depends on Aaron Rodgers' health, right? So if you think under, then you think Aaron Rodgers won't be able to stay healthy. Pen pals, Debo Samuel. Nice. Niners, Ron Holland. No, Ron Hollins has a Seahawks. One above. Andrew Torres, last spot mojo. There you go, Andrew. Thanks for grabbing that last team. Help fin help uh, finish off the break. That's T.Y. Hilton for the Colts. That's three out of ten. Nice low number. Colts with that one. Jeremy, we're almost to the Colts, too. Jeremy Merle with the Colts. Jay, what's going on? His tops Brooklyn in hobby shops. I have no idea. How do you even get this stuff? Magic. Sometimes they fall off a truck and we end up with it.
Well, that, that's why, Jay, you count on Jaspies to, to, to dig up the interesting stuff. Uh, no, not yet, Kenson. Someday. Uh, Houston Texans, they won 11 games last year. And then Vegas has them at eight and a half wins this year. Over or under eight and a half for the Texans. Speaking of the Packers, there's Brett Favre, throwback threads at a 299. That goes to Mark Madison with Green Bay. AFC South. I don't know if Andrew Luck is healthy. That could be a that's a tough division. I don't think the Jaguars are going to be as bad as they were last year. Titans, I feel like, are going to improve this year. All right, Kenson. Yeah. Um, you should sign in, though, when you place orders because uh, I think that's how you'll get your automated tracking emails. No, no one has thoughts on Texans. All right. Uh, Colts. So we finally got to the Colts. Where, where do we think the Colts are going to do? Jared Nichter was asking a little bit earlier. Uh, Colts won 10 games last year. Uh, and I, you know, I don't think Andrew Luck looked, uh, looked, had a lot, a little bit of rust to knock off. They still won 10 games last year. Vegas has the win total at nine and a half, which I feel is about right. I think they win another 10 this year. Over or under nine and a half with Andrew. It's got to be over, right? And if Andrew Luck is 100% healthy, you know that that changes com completely changes the complexion of the team. Um, Kenson, yeah. If you, if you hit something in that honors break, then you can just. Uh, you can shoot us an email and ask for that tracking number maybe a few days after the break. But I think the I think the Colts are gonna be pretty good. They and they got uh who's that who's that linebacker? Darius Leonard, I think. I mean that kid tackles everything in sight. So they've got they've got a bit of a defense. They got Andrew Luck back. They got a bit of a running game. I like what the I like what the the Colts could have could possibly accomplish this year. All right, next box. Dodgers has hit back to back home runs. Nice. Game tied. Four, four. See, there's T.Y. Hilton's going to benefit greatly. From Andrew, Andrew Luck being healthy. Yeah, that's a good reward, Rex.
And another Nikhil Harry for Karen. 48 out of 99 this time for Karen's Patriots. What about the Jaguars? Won five last year. Vegas has them at eight. Eight wins. I feel like that might be a little bit, I could get a little bit over on that. Nine wins, nine inside. I think the Jaguars are going to improve too. That AFC South is going to be hard to predict, I feel like. I like the Texans. Texans are going to be good. Colts are going to be good. I feel like the Jaguars took a couple steps back last year. Might take a few more steps forward this year. Hmm. I feel like the Titans are going to be a little bit better, too. It's going to be a tough one. Pen Pals, Easton Stick, blue ink autograph for the Chargers. Bill on the board with the Bolts. You like that? Bill on the board with the Bolts. A lot of people talking uh, talking up Easton Stick, too. They like Easton Stick. And there's some Jaguars. Gilo, what's going on? <laughs> Auto save saying Ryan saying the Jaguar ain't gonna be running that far. All right. What about now that Gilo's here? Gilo, you're just in time. From the Jacksonville Jaguars, let's go to the Chiefs. Last year. Kansas City Chiefs won 12 games last year. Vegas has the over-under for this year at 10. 10 wins. What do you think, Gilo? Your Chiefs, Vegas has you 10 wins, over or under. We just have these, we're almost there folks, just have these four boxes left right here. One, two, three, four. Johnny likes that number. He thinks it's right. It's gonna be right at 10. He says, a, he, see, he says a push. I think 10 sounds about right too. Gilo says over. He thinks that the defense is a little under the radar. I mean, can't get any Anymore. It can only go up at that defense. So, I mean, yeah, if the defense is a little bit better, what about that offense? I, I mean, I don't think Patrick Mahomes is going to do what he did last year, right? Doesn't have a couple weapons. Who steps up in that offense? I guess Tyreek Hill won't be out for that much, that for that long. You still got Travis Kelsey. What about the rush? What, what's the rush going to do? I think this is another one of those cases where if that number was 9.5, I would say over. I think they win 10, 10 games. If it was 10.5, I would go under. Chargers won 12 games last year. They're at nine and a half. So half a game lower than the than their division rivals, Chiefs. I think the Chargers can win 10 games.
Rex is saying, does the uh, baseball all-star game seem a little more exciting than recent years? I think so. I think the way they did the... I think they did a great job with the voting process, Rex. So I think it like in previous years where the, it was just like the, the teams would nominate players for the All-Star game and then you were just handed a ballot and said, hey, check off, vote a million times, vote as much as you can or something like that. But I think there was a more, this sort of election thing that they were doing this year, I think was a good idea. You know, there's more fan involvement. There's fan nominations, you know, and then you could, you could pick, you could vote for the starters. So it wasn't just like sheer, oh, he got, he, he you know, he got the most votes, so he's going to be starting or something like that. Or maybe players that didn't, maybe shouldn't be nominated as all-stars were nominated and blah, blah, blah. There's Mike Williams. Elite coverage dual relic for Bill. The Mariota goes to Sam Rail and the Titans. Yeah, homers are up too. So that could be exciting as well. And I think they're, I think some of the young players has also, you know, created some hype. You know, like Tatis Jr. isn't on the All-Star, but you know, the you get some, uh, you get a little bit of excitement there. Some of the young players, maybe seeing Vlad Jr. in the Home Run Derby, stuff like that. Home Run Derby, giving away a million bucks. So now, now there's some, now there's some stakes involved. And another TJ Watt. This is a passing the torch autograph. 78 out of 99 for Steel Curtain and his Steelers. Let's jump down to the Steelers really quick. They won nine last year. Eight and a half is their win total. What do we think? I feel like the Steelers could have a weird season. There's Darius Slayton. Pen Pals, on-card autograph for Mark Madsen and the Giants. I don't know. Maybe it is going to be a transitional year for the, for the Steelers. How much longer does Ben Roethlisberger have? I don't know, maybe maybe a drama free. Yeah, over on the Steelers says you. I was just about to say the same thing. Maybe a drama free Steelers organization, you know, can start start developing young players. Juju Smith Schuster could could go off. You know, he might be revitalized without some headaches in the locker room. That Josh Jacobs is ten out of ten. Very excited about this guy. What about my Raiders, ladies and gentlemen? My Raiders won four games last year. Did not expect them to just do that last year, but they won four somehow. Um, Vegas has them at six and a half. What do you think? I think they win about six. I think they want to... They were off track last year, on track this year. You know, getting themselves on track this year, and then maybe start making progress next year with another round of draft picks and free agents and whatnot. So uh, by the time they're in Vegas, I think they'll, uh, I think they'll be ready to try to do something. You know, at least get to 500, maybe push for a wild card spot or something like that. I feel like they have a tough schedule this year, though, which might hurt them. But once they're in Vegas, Vegas flu is possible. Remember the remember the uh, first season for the Golden Knights, the hockey team. A lot of people made a lot of money on on the uh, Golden Knights that first year because uh, at home especially because they were underrated by Vegas just because they were brand new. They're an expansion team, but they'd come into Vegas. And uh, 
you know, maybe maybe you go out for a drink or two when you're in town. Maybe you, maybe you stay out a little bit later than you intended to. Maybe just that one beer turned into a dozen beers. Maybe maybe an hour at the craps table turned into three hours. It's like just an hour. Then we'll go to bed early, get ready for the hockey game tomorrow. And maybe that turned into something else. Maybe just one lap dance turned into a whole night out. Who knows? Could happen. And there's football in Vegas. It could easily, four could easily turn to 12, Rich. Absolutely right. Now, if that's just happening to hockey players. Imagine when the NFL is in town. We have, we have like, what, two, three times the size? Like rosters two, three times the size of a hockey team coming into town, taking up a block of hotel room somewhere. And if you, if I'm a coach, if I'm a coach of a team going into nice Drew Lock, turn of the century to '99, <laughs> turn it to my ex-wife says Rich. If I'm if I'm a visiting coach going into the Las Vegas Raiders, you know what I would do? I'm staying I'm staying at a hotel. Um, like no, no no team's gonna stay on the strip, right? That would just be, that would just be stupid. Where would they stay? They would I would I would put them in Henderson. You you put them into a you put them into like a a boring Hilton in the middle of of Henderson suburbia. You know you make sure, <laughs> or they should stay at like they should stay at like State Line. I would make sure they are as far away as possible from any sort of Vegas temptation. Oh man, can you imagine? And nice, Andy Isabella, another one for Scott Cooper. You got the dual pen pal, now you got Andy Isabella by himself. That is strong. Nice break for the Cardinals. Oh, Broncos, that's Nick Leslie, by the way, with that Drew Locke autograph. There's Andy Isabella. Stay outside of town at the Bunny Ranch with Lamar Odom. Lamar Odom actually, I think, playing big three. So he, he went from almost dead to, like, I think playing in the big three. So, hey, my hat is off to him for get, getting, getting his life back on track. After this, maybe we'll uh, we'll go through some orders. We'll look into what uh, where teams should stay <laughs> when they go to Vegas. Wonder where hockey teams. I mean, hockey teams their their rosters are so much smaller. So, but I wonder where what hotel they stay. I'm sure we can figure internet it and figure it out. But I would I would love to see Antonio Brown living on the Strip. He should have his own show, his own TV show. I I only see like seven orders coming in, ladies and gentlemen. So let's try to figure out what we're gonna do next. Someone was saying that was it Jay. Someone was saying the museum collection was down to just a handful of teams, maybe. There's Jameis Winston. I feel like Tampa Bay. They won five last year. Win total six and a half this year. I feel like Jameis Winston is just just on the cusp of of breaking out. He's got weapons. Yeah, if Travis Kelsey has his own show, why not Antonio Brown? Antonio Brown, living on the strip. All right, 
right, folks, another 15, 20 minutes to go. Almost there. Thanks, everyone. According to TripAdvisor, NHL will not allow teams to stay in casino hotels while visiting Vegas. I got gotcha. you. Okay. So they must... Yeah, so they must just be at like... Uh, like a way off the strip, like Hilton Hotel. You know, that's nice, but like no casino inside, nothing. Oh, Bill, are you trying to get away with not watching the video and just having people tell you if the Chargers hit or not? Man. I, I see what Bill's trying to do. What about the people that, that have spent the last hour watching this whole thing live? Bill just wants it the easy way. Tell me if I got hit. I think you did. I feel like I called your name out earlier. I'm going to do a recap after this anyway. You'll see. Right, yeah, like four seasons or something like that, right? Put them, put them up in the four seasons. Yeah, I couldn't think of like a super fancy hotel. Yeah, put them up in the four seasons and they just chill out. Strict curfews. But... That's right, it was an Easton Stick pen pal autograph. But there is still possibly the Vegas flu, even though the hockey teams were at non-casino hotels. Somehow, that first year, first year that, uh, that the Golden Knights were there, they were winning a lot of home games. And back to the future, Kenyon Drake to 99. I'm with the Dolphins. Dolphins won seven last year. And their win total is five this year. Over or under five for the Dolphins. Could be interesting. They're tr trying to restart that whole team with Josh Rosen and new coaching staff and all that. It's going to be tough for them, I think. And Pen Pals, another Nikhil Harry for Karen. Blue ink autograph this time. Nikhil Harry's autograph doesn't look too bad, but I feel like he, he just needs to make it a little bit larger. I want to like just expand that autograph a little bit. It's like Baker, Baker Mayfield's autograph. Like it looks nice, but it just needs to be, needs to just fill up the canvas a little bit. Garrett Talbot says, what, Trump Hotel doesn't have, Trump Hotel doesn't have a casino? I don't think we're going to make any player last names in this case. And we've got throwback threads. The Edge, Edron James, and on the other side, Peyton Manning, 6 out of 25. That'll go to the Colts, Jeremy Merle with Indianapolis. I think we're going to have a nice season this year.
Two boxes to go. Floyd Mayweather would donate to the Raiders cap space. That would that that'd be nice, Floyd. Before he gambles it all away. I like this uh I like this uh the teams, the rookies in their pro uniforms. It's trying to get me pumped up about the football season. Of course he's joking. Come on, Ryan. EJC, what's going on? It's going. Things are going. Almost done with this elite break. We can go to some orders. See what else we can get into tonight. Garrett okay, says each each Raiders player can borrow Bugatti from Mayweather to drive to the stadium. Who else would start showing up to Raiders games? Yeah, Floyd would show up for sure. What about, uh, I don't know, whoever's doing like, like who's like at Caesars Palace, like doing, doing like the residency there. Whoever's doing a residency there will show up, Shania Twain. They'll get they'll get Shania Twain to do like uh, I think I think she's at Caesars now, right? I think she's a, doing a residency there. Thought I saw that somewhere. Is Britney Britney Spears still doing a residency out there? Maybe she'll she'll do a national anthem one week. There's Dak Prescott going to the Cowboys. Joe Carmona's Carmona with that one. Chip and Nails could be out there, right? Thunder from Down Under could be there doing a doing a routine with the Raider 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 girls, Raiderettes. And, all right, Lady Gaga can go go ahead and do national anthem too. Just roll out all the stars there. Celine Dion might still be there. There's AJ Brown, nice one for the Titans. Twenty one out of thirty. Sam Rail. And another Matt Ryan craftsman relic for Ryan and the Falcons. I know, except for that Dak Prescott Carmona. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot of Cowboys that's been being produced. How much were the Cowboys? They might, they may not just have a lot of stuff on that checklist. That's probably why. Do you guys ever do two breaks at once? Always just one of you guys breaking at a time. Um, I don't understand the question. Like, two breaks on this camera? Two different breaks on this camera? That would be kind of confusing, I would think. <laughs> hey, oh. Cowboys aren't elite enough, says Rex. Rex coming through with the classic dad joke. And there's Miles Boykin, Pen Palace, on another camera, but like have like another camera like above my head or 
And someone else is breaking a completely different break? Or is that what you're asking? Ravens, that'll go to Christopher Freeze. Yeah, the Raiders probably do have some killer halftime shows planned. I mean, you you've seen like the the intros for the for the Golden Knights. They say like people say it's like a like a huge show like when they do the when they do like the lineups and everything. It's eight out of ten playmakers, Ladainian Tomlinson. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I mean, on, on this channel, it's just me, but we do have the eBay channel that Jason Jaspi does. So yeah, there is another there is another person breaking at this location, but that's the eBay channel that that Jason Jaspi is on right now. Why would, why would they why would they tease the cowboys on here but not put any cowboys on in the product um i don't have the link to it ejc i'm really not supposed to promote that on this channel <laughs> it's supposed it's for for us to be able to find new people not lead our current customer base into that into ebay it's the other way around But I'm sure with a little Googling, you can figure it out. We did it. We're on the last box, ladies and gentlemen. Our last three hits, two autos and a relic. Good luck, everybody. There will be a recap video after this on a separate video, so look out for that if you missed most of the break. If you're just joining us. Um, jaspyscasebreaks.com jaspyscasebreaks.com we've got another case of elite in we've got time to do another case tonight we got to probably have to fill it by i don't know 9:30 pacific if we want to do another one and that would make it like the last break of the night we can knock out another one tonight if you want to or rich schmidt would rather do some soccer they want to do soccer immaculate soccer is available pick your team or country, or one box random number block breaks. If you're not confident enough to pick a team, you can just let the numbers do the talking. We got a bunch of baseball in the shop, including a fun pick your player break. Brooklyn collection, which I, which I feel like I've never opened up, but it looks nice, so go and check it out. No one has said Anything is sold out at the moment, so maybe nothing sold out. Craftsman Relic. Eagles. That'll be for Darji. Should we should we create some sort of drama narrative, Rex? I'm, I'll bet more people would tune in. When the cameras are off, the gloves are off. Jaspy drama. There's David Montgomery, 75. Da Bears. Sergio Patino with the Bears.
I think I think I would get destroyed in a fight with Jason Jaspie. He is way taller than me. Johnny's saying only thing that's close is immaculate soccer. So what, what's everyone buying? I see some orders, Johnny, but nothing's close, huh? I see about nine orders in right now. All right, well, got to do something. And it's Terry McLaurin, pen pals. On card autograph. There's our third hit from this box. Patrick K. Still no Haskins yet, Patrick, but here's a hit though. Almost done. My blank tower looking pretty good right here. That's pretty good modern art right there, ladies and gentlemen. Submit that to local museum. Belongs in a museum. No, Dr. Jones, you belong in a museum. Our top men are on it. We can do a museum collection. You should be talking to my father. He's the real expert on, on grail mythology. We did. He's the man that's missing, Dr. Jones. All right. Um, I don't know how we got on that tangent. Um, randomize. Yes, I got one randomizer. I'm going to randomize these guys right here. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list two and a three five times. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. It'll go to oh, the suspenserandom.org. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? After five times, it goes to position five. So all the teams on the bottom right there will get them. So whatever team Greedy Williams is on. Cardinals. So there you go, folks. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.